the pranayama was the life of every human being and pranayama is the control of the breath inhale and you exhale and then inhale retention you exhale the prana was very very powerful and it made india one of the most richest wealthiest countries to stay happily before the invasion before they took over colonized india the prana which kept the body very healthy and nobody went to the hospitals nobody knew hospitals because when you practice your prana and you make your breath very powerful now nobody practices and you can see a huge amount of hospitals mushrooming without a single shot been fired they have taken over and they will continue to take over and continue to break it the second was the um, yoga asana every asana hundreds and thousands of asanas are there and they were practicing all the asanas the asanas helps you to stretch every part of your body to make it look flexible to make it look like a rubber it can bounce at any moment the moment you drop it if it hits down and break into pieces that's where all the diseases come that's why you live in poverty but in yokasana you can bounce and no bones break you stretch it i can see 2 and 1/2 kilometers you know, you can hear 2 and 1/2 kilometers you can smell 2 and 1/2 kilometers it was washed and wide like an ocean flowing water fresh water stagnant water still the body became stagnant you became sick and the meditation when dean ornish the reversal of heart disease cardiologist from the white house of obama and bill clinton chief physician on the white house said he practiced he kept two groups of people one group which taken medicine and another group which took the medicine and did the dhyana meditation their diseases have fallen down by 90% and those who have not done meditation their disease only doubled in triple because he says in dhyana and meditation everything stops the breath stops and in that stopping all diseases disappears only in that gap you see the truth and god so practice these three removing these three as made india live in poverty remove not replacing these three will destroy india in future my warning my prediction every house every school every university every workplace should compulsorily make pranayama yogasana and dhyana compulsory and you can see the growth of the school the growth of the university growth of every organization every factories and will function so beautifully not with mistrust but with trust with an open hearted love they come there to do karma yoga that keep doing work with their expecting results their energy will be 100% replace it back